good morning um so again um i'm delighted to be here with you um in my channel to talk to you a little bit um the subject that i that i've been thinking about about three weeks now is stress so in this time of un uncertainty who do you trust in this time of covid 19 where in this world there's so much going on sometimes there's some anything that you do is like nothing seems to be uh, the right way to do things you try this and it turns to be uh, it's not the right thing you go that way and it's um it's also it's backfired and i know there are many people today that are thinking about taking their own life or take things in into their own hands so remember life is precious life is jesus jesus is the owner of every single life he cares about every single one of you rich poor yellow blue black and white he cares about all of you the same remember the bible said that you are his his masterpiece his workmanship his best so he put his best into creation of mankind so and remember what god said when he was creating created man he said let let us make men in our image so when you are looking at me or looking at your fellow men you are looking at god himself you are looking at god image so let's see what the bible says um about trust who do you trust in this time of uncertainty because i'm sure many of you that um you have many people that uh, let you down people that you you put your confidence in sometimes it might be a spouse it might be a brother or sister it might be a friend it might be a parent or whatever it might be a son or a daughter and sometimes people let you down you know sometimes it's sometimes it's it's uh it's purposely sometimes it's, uh, it's it's to no fault of their own so let's see what the bible say about trust and who should we trust who should we trust who should we put our hope in and remember the Bible said um, we should not trust me, any man because man himself cannot do anything for himself. But um, God, the maker, he has full control of this whole world. So let's dip into the Bible. Let's see what the Bible says about trust. We're going to read Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. And lead not and lean not unto thy own understanding. Verse six in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. So verse six in all thy way acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. When you see no path forward, when you see there's nowhere to go, when everywhere you go they shut doors on you, when everywhere you go it's no acknowledge jesus acknowledge god and he shall direct your path he will open doors that are that that never been opened before he can make ways that that were in ex in existence so trust in him with everything that you do if you believe for for a spouse trust in jesus if you believe for a home trust in jesus if you believe for for your health trust in jesus if you believe for a, a, a career trust in him give him all all of you acknowledge him so declare in your mouth that you are the head and not the tail declare in your mouth that jesus is lord in your life declare in your mouth that you are a success Declare in your mouth that you shall live and shall not die. Declare in your mouth that you are prosper and you are not broke. Declare in your mind, in your mouth, that you were, you will live long life and the Lord shall satisfy you with long life. It shall be so. 
Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not into thy own understanding. Remember, God wants you to trust Him. He wants you to put all your hope in Him. He wants you to believe that He can do, he can do anything. There's no impossible for God. Remember, um, those that don't trust in God, those that are, that are saying there's no God, the Bible call them, they are the fool. The Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10, and it talks about uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. The fear of the Lord, trust in Him, trust. Trust in Jesus does not mean that you are naive, does not mean that you, you cannot do for yourself. So you have to get up and put things together, dress up, shower, go to work, go to school, get that education. But you know, trust in the Lord for the impossible. Trust in the Lord when the doctor says there's nothing that we can do, that, that surgery might be of no use. That chemo, it's not gonna work, it's the end, it's stage four, it's stage whatever. You know what? There's no there's no end stage for Jesus. You understand that? There's no end stage. Sometimes they send you home to die. They send you to hospice. And guess what? The Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, he surprised science. He he he, he made doctors uh, and, and scientists. Uh, declare that you know what there's a God we don't understand this we don't understand how this man is living we don't understand how she's living we don't understand what's happening but you know we, we, we scan you again we pet scan we cut scan we scan that we x-ray we don't see nothing so what happened because the first the, the first skin, the second skin showed that you are that, that the cancer was all over, now that 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 disease was terminal, there were no no hope. But you know what? And then and then fifty years later you're still talking. You're still talking about Jesus. You know what? Uh, you you are the um the impossible that you know that what men cannot do. So trust in the Lord with all your heart. And he will direct your path. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. Um, there's another verse I want to cover for you. It's let's go to Psalm some 14. Let's see what the Bible says about people that are that's that are saying there's no God. Psalm 14 says uh, the fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They do abominable deeds. There is none who does good. The Lord looks down from heaven of the children of men to see if there are any who understand, who seek after God. They have all turned aside together. They have become corrupt. There is none who does good, not even one. Have they no knowledge of the evildoers who eat up my people as they eat bread and do not call upon the Lord? There they are in great terror. For God with the generation of the righteous, you, sh you would shame the plans of the poor, but the Lord is is his refuge oh that salvation for israel will come out of zion when the lord restore the fortune of his people let jacob re rejoice let israel rejoice <laughs> so the people that calling that often say there's no god they 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 this they that they don't believe the bible calls you some some 14 you are a fool you understand that because there's no way looking at mankind how, 
how smart that we are, the things that we, we are doing, life itself, it's it's impossible to, there's a, that life exists without 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 a creator. It's impossible that you know uh, that this body, as complex as this body is, you know, exists as um as by itself. There's a, as the, as there's no creator. There's no God. You know, as um as this, as as cars, men men built cars. You know, men men maintain cars. So if a car, for a, in order for a car to run smoothly, you have to take the car to maintenance every day, every 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 so often, three three to six months, or sometimes even more, um, depending on, on 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 what part of the car that I'm talking about. So you have to take that car to a shop to get maintained, to change your oil, to do this, and um, to change your brake, to change your tires. We have to constantly maintain the car, maintain the cars for the car to give you a certain amount of time. It is the same way that body need maintenance for it to live. And you know what? Who who, ma who maintain the body? It's not your physician. Because I, I know I, I know some people that's never been to a physician, but you know they they live in hundreds, 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 some uh, even more years old, and that doesn't mean that I'm preaching that you don't go to your doctors because uh, every knowledge I come from God, the physician knowledge, that's not his knowledge, no. He he sat somewhere in the school to study science so he can understand uh, the body itself uh, as complicated as the, as the body is. So who who gave that physician the understanding, the ability to understand that the science is God? So I mean, if um if if God did not open his mind, make his 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 um his intelligence uh, uh, bright to understand science, to understand physics, to understand business, to understand uh, uh, engineering, that engineer would not be able to build that car, that doctor would not be able to to perform that surgery um, um, successfully, that doctor would just open you and you would you would just bleed to death, you would just die. But you know. God gave 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 us gave gave us um knowledge that we built so much uh, uh, advanced technology machine that you know right now we can just use it like a remote control uh, as a physician you can use it like a remote control machine and the machine uh, uh, does that incision uh, open very minimal incision and then you can do very advanced uh, uh, surgery that way uh, ro robotic surgery. So who gave men that those kind of knowledge? It's 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 not that something that you can uh, go to the store and say I I, I want to buy some knowledge. I want to get a, a, a knowledge to become a physician. I want to get knowledge to become an engineer. I want to build cars. So because uh, as as I was uh, thinking the other day, I was like um. Um, who who was the first physician? Who was the very first? I'm talking about men. We understand that. Um, I understand that. Uh, the, the 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 great physician is Jesus. Is the is God Himself. But you know, who was the the the, the, the first man physician? Who was the first man? Very first man engineer. Where does he Where does he get that knowledge from? Where? Who taught him? You know what I'm saying? I mean, there, there were if, if there were no universities uh, uh, that 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 knew about those stuff before. Where does that very first engineer get his uh, his knowledge? Where does that very first uh, 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 physician get his knowledge? Where does that where does that very first um, a pilot uh, understand how to fly a plane? So that knowledge came from God, came from Jesus. And I was thinking, I was like, um. Um, if we, if if we as men, we can sit on a plane and we dress, we dress on on that pallet. We don't even know if, if that pallet was having a good time the night prior, whether it was having a, a martini, or we don't we don't even know if the pallet is a is in is is in is in, is in, is in is a good sense and good mind. We don't understand uh, if the pallet is not having um, some anger issues some issues at home that you know that make him not thinking right if we can sit on that plane and that plane is is is, is flying up it's flying so high up about 
25,000, sometimes 30, 30, 30 plus thousand uh, uh, altitude high. We sit we sit on that plane and trust our pilot and tr trust his judgment to take us to the to the to the direction that we want to go and um um i was uh, uh, uh th that was what i was thinking that because because i lately i've been i've been traveling uh, uh so often because uh, you know and um because my girl is living so so far away so uh, I, i'm on the plane so often so just to go and see her and so and Every often, every so often, I'm, I'm down in Florida because um, over here we have this uh, new airline that uh, that give us um, a discount flight. So I'm just, I just say, let let me just get down to Florida for for just two days and have some fun and come back. And uh, you know, if I, if we can sit in that plane and trust that pilot, and trust that and trust that train conductor, and trust in that car, we sit in that car even 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 if I'm the driver. But you know. For me to to drive that car, I have to trust that that car can I can turn the key in the ignition. That car going to start. I can just push the gas. The car gonna move. I can just hold the steering and do and go left and go right. And I can just sit there and car take me down to Boston and take me down to New York. And I can get there safely. If I can trust in myself and I can trust in that pilot, I can trust in that car. I can trust in that train. And I'm, and I was like, um, why can't we trust in the Lord Jesus Christ for our life, for our future, for our success, for our health? So we just we need to speak it, whatever that you need. You need to speak it in the name of Jesus. If you need healing right now, you need to speak healing to that body in the name of Jesus. If you need a monetary success, a monetary miracle, if you need whatever miracle it is, if you need a, a, a spouse, if you need a partner, if you need whatever that you need, you need to speak it in the name of Jesus. And he will provide. When I say partner, I'm not talking about a man, a, a man seeking man or woman seeking man. I'm talking about uh, 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 if you're a man, you're looking for a, a woman partner. If you're a woman, you, you're seeking for a man partner. This is the way that God wanted. I'm talking about the the the, uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom because uh, anything else, uh, men and men, women and women, is abomination. You understand that because, and when God come back, He will judge you, and you you can't escape hell by doing these things because if if you die in this kind of behavior, you you just on your way to hell. There's no escape. You can't. You can't change the word of God. You can't say that that that, that was a society. That's what society was doing. It, it was legal in my society. And the, the, the government had passed laws that, that made uh, this kind of behavior legal in society. And, you know, uh, and at work sometimes, you can't even uh, joke about those things no more because uh, you get in trouble. And sometimes you even lose your job. But, you know, and there's... There's you can't you can't you cannot play game with God. You cannot fool God. He's God. He's a He's supreme God. He's in control of everything. You can change His word. The Bible says, as a matter of fact, the heaven and earth shall pass. But you know, there's there's, there's not a single word of the word of God. This this Bible that you're looking about, you understand that there's not a single word from this book, the Bible that that shall pass. And that 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 will change. You can't change it. Now you cannot. You can't. You can say whatever. You can pass whatever laws. And whenever God come back, when His compassion is over, it doesn't matter what you were doing, how much money that you 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 have, you have um, what position that you you sat in society, how high that you were in business or, or government. If you did not follow the Bible, the Word of God, and if you if you if you did not obey this word, if you did not um, respect the Word of God, um, love each other, love your fellow men as uh, as Christ loved the church. Husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church. This kind of thing. If you don't follow them, and 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 if you die in your sin. If you die doing this kind of behavior, adultery, uh, fornication, uh, abomination, men with men, women with women, if you die in this kind of behavior, guess what? You are going to hell. And you know, and sin, 
sin came from disobedience and that's why the Lord he hates sin he hates sin the Lord cannot stand see his people are dying in sin are just repeating a sin over and over and and he and and he he just sat up there he's looking at us uh, he's patient he's uh he's very very patient but he's also sad to see that people don't understand them and people just taking it uh, and up uh, dying and going to hell and he gave us so much time to weep and remember one day like today we're gonna we're gonna wake up and they're gonna be worldly activity People are gonna be going to work. People are gonna be going to schools. People are gonna be traveling. People are gonna be doing whatever leisure, uh, pleasure. It's gonna be a normal day. And guess what? The Maker, the Lord, He's gonna be come back in the year. And you know, the sent the church gonna hear the sound. We're gonna hear the trumpet. The world, the world is not gonna stop and and stop completely and then he come back no it's gonna be like a normal monday a normal tuesday man a normal wednesday a normal sunday a normal friday you know we uh, some people gonna be at work some people gonna be down the show having fun at the beach some people gonna be sick in the hospital some people gonna be in the air in the airplanes uh, in so high altitude traveling some people are gonna be in the train travel. Some people are gonna be in the car in the highway driving. Some truck driver gonna be in the truck driving. And truck drivers that are Christians, they're just gonna disappear. Truck with no drivers. Pilot that are Christian gonna be disappear. Plane with no pilot, you know what I'm saying? I mean, cars with Christian driver gonna disappear. Cars gonna be on I-95 at high speed with no drivers. And it's gonna be it's gonna be a wonderful day for for us that's gonna go into heaven with Christ, but you know it's gonna be like a, a chaotic day. A pool is gonna be overwhelmed. There's gonna be accident everywhere. There's gonna be plane crash everywhere. There's gonna be train crash everywhere. There's gonna be pileups everywhere. There's gonna be train crash everywhere, and people are gonna be wondering what happened. And that's when the world gonna say, "Oh my God, there's a guy. He, that guy, that man must have come back." And guess what? It's gonna be too late, and there's gonna be one more chance. They're gonna call it the Great Tribulation, and as according to the Bible, not so many can can sustain that they're gonna survive the Great Tribulation because it's gonna be so hard. It's gonna be so hard not to take the mark of the beast. The six six six. It's gonna be so hard not to take the mark of the beast because the governments they're gonna they're gonna be out of control. They're gonna pass laws. They're gonna make Things hard, they're gonna say you have to take this mark of the beast for them to give you help, for them to give you whatever job, food, and many people, most of the people are gonna take the mark of the beast just to survive, just to have food. And it's gonna be very few, very, very few. Let's say out of ten, it's gonna be probably one or two that's gonna make it uh uh uh, that, that's gonna that's gonna make it that, that's gonna make it to heaven uh, during that uh, great tribulation. Understand that folks listen to me the voice um listen to my voice talking to you I love you and I don't want to see you going to going to hell and today right now is the time where you can give Christ your life today right now is the time where, where you can stop sinning where you can say I'm gonna stop living in fornication I'm gonna stop living in abomination I'm gonna stop living in adultery if you married be faithful to your wife be faithful to your husband if you live if you're living in an homosexual uh relationship is a lesbian relationship it's time for you to call it quit right now because it's abomination and abomination is a sin against the lord and you cannot change it and the bible says as a matter of fact the price for sin is death and Christ paid that price for us, so we so we should not so 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 we we would not die. So He paid the price for sin for us on the cross. So why would you wanna continue living in sin? And because uh, He He will not die a second time for you for 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 the sin that you you are committing now. It's, 
right now today it's time for you to ask for forgiveness but because if you die in sin there's no second death there's no second death on the cross and 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 the price of, of your sins gonna be hell gonna be death if you die in your sin if, if you never have a chance to repent you're gonna go to hell remember let's trust in the lord let's trust in him let's put our fear our uncertainty everything that we are going through that we are, don't understand everything that we don't see a way out everything that we don't see a way forward we don't see a way backward we don't see a way a side way size way and uh, let's trust that into the the lord hands so because his mighty hands can do mighty miracles the impossible miracles as a matter of fact he's the god of the impossible let's trust in him let's believe in him for your health let's believe in him for your financial situation let's believe in him for your marriage let's believe in him for the impossible let's believe in him for your children because he's the one that can make those children grow up right he's the one that can make those children uh, uh, have uh, have fear for the Lord he's the one that can make those children uh, uh, understand and and, and and feed and feed God and love God and go to church and stay in church. He's the one that can make those children love education, uh, have a passion for education, and stay in school, go to school, get that diploma to become a very productive citizen, citizens uh, in society. He's the man that is the one that can take that that young man out there selling drugs, doing bad things, going in and out of jail. He is the one that can make that man say, wait a minute, what am I doing to myself? I'm destroying my life. I'm just, I'm just uh, killing myself early, destroying my life. And uh, I'm going in and out of jail, get that felony. And then once I get out, uh, every employee that I apply for say, oh, yo, man, you get a felony. We're not going to hire you. We can't hire a felon. And this is, this, this is how society is failing you because once they put you in jail and you get that felony and then you come out or you come out, you go apply there, you go apply there, you go apply there, you go apply there, you, apply there, you have a felony, you're, you, you're a criminal. I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to hire you. We can hire, and, and then that that young man, that young lady, ha, ha, has has no other option but to go back to whatever they were doing, and then keep going back and forth in jail. And you know what? You know who can deliver you from that situation? Jesus only, the Lord only. As a matter of fact, you you are in this in in that situation because of disobedience, because of sin. And that's why parents, uh, the best time to discipline your, your, your children, to, to teach them uh, 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 right and wrong, the, the, the good thing, how to, how to become productive, good citizens of society, is right now, is, is while the children, is, is, is when they are six, five years old, three, two, one years old. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not telling you not to adore your child, not to love your child, but you know, that beautiful young, that beautiful little baby boy that you are looking at that beautiful uh, little baby girl that you are looking at uh, can be uh, can be so much a disappointment for you in the future if you don't teach him the way of the Lord if you don't teach him how to grow up and be a young lady if you don't teach him how to grow up and, and be a young man that young man can grow up and be and be a, can be hell for you that cute little boy can grow up be, and, and be hell for you be, and be disappointment for you and, and that and 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 that, that that cute little boy can go up and, and, and cause you to lose your life early can be a shame for you and 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 then how do you feel you see your boy you see your girl going back and forth in jail in handcuffs in front of police uh, uh how do you feel you see your your your, your beautiful uh, princess young lady uh, uh in, in the corner street of philadelphia in wilmington and 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 in the corner street of Brooklyn uh, with this uh, um, uh, uh, dumb, high, stupid, you know what I'm saying, uh, have no potential, uh, can't hold a job, can't even function as, as a, as a new, normal human being, sleeping in, in, in the street like animals. And you know, I was, um, uh, that, that's what I was, I was, when I was down in Philadelphia the other day, I was, I was looking at those people and, and then 
the first thing that hit my mind was that my god those people those young men those young ladies they were they were once uh, somebody's uh, sunshine they were once somebody's princess they were once somebody's uh, love uh, they, uh, they were once that little boy that little girl that made a, a, a daddy proud that made a daddy smile that made a mom smile that made a mom proud but today looking at them that mom would not even say that's my daughter that's my son they disown them and they're on the street dying because of a bad decision because they, they they've been taking drugs sniffing drug drinking drug drinking alcohol injecting drug and they become so stupid so uh, so uh so uh, they, they so useless to society as a matter of fact they are they are a burden to society and and all those things are happening because of sin because of disobedience and guess what the lord has sent and the and and the price for sins to pay is death and the second death for sin that that, that gonna be paying for is gonna be paying by me and you because the he's jesus is not gonna pay a second price for you because if you choose to live in sin guess what you're gonna die for your sin and, and there's no second uh, there's no second redemption there's no second uh, uh hanging on the cross because it was it was done once and for all and what did jesus mean when he said on the cross it is finished it, it, it was all finished because the work of the, the, the uh, uh he, he 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 had he had broken the the, the back of sin the back of, uh, of death he had broken the back of satan when satan was uh, uh taught taught that uh, he was winning when christ was on the cross suffering they were making fun of him they were spitting on his face they were beating him up he was bleeding and and and, and they put that crown in, in his head that 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 tear up his face that he was bleeding from face down they put those nails in his hand in his feet he was bleeding and at the end and he said it is finished what was finished uh, and he said it was finished because he had broken the back of sin he said that it is finished because the ten commandments the laws that we were living under were were insufficient they were not capable uh, to cleanse a man to forgive sins uh, to give a, a salvation the, the the laws were more like more like laws if you do this you're gonna you're gonna get that for punishment as a matter of fact, the laws were that if you kill, you're gonna get killed. As the, uh, 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 you're gonna get killed by, as uh, 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 under the law. If you were, uh, if you were caught committing adultery, they will kill you. They will stone you. Uh, you remember the, when 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 they the, the, they took that that woman to 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 Jesus, uh, and that that they caught in adultery, and then he he he. And then he he listened to them uh, accusing the woman. Um, he he listened to all of them talking. He let them talk. And then and then when the last one finished talk, he he bowed down and with his finger on the ground, he was something in whatever language he, he they spoke back then. And that whatever he he would down says that whichever one of you that know that has no sin cast the first stone and then he look at he he's standing there man i'm telling you jesus was a very very super smart man he's standing there looking at them the first one walk away second one walk away third one walk away fourth one walk away likewise they keep walking away until the last one walk away and then with his head down and then he put his head bring his head up in look out uh, he, he told a woman where are those people that accuse you she said lord they all left and you know what he, he told the woman me likewise i forgive your sin you go and you sin no more and you know what was what was the, what was what was jesus was preaching then with that example of the woman he was preaching grace he was preaching salvation so he was preaching that the law was uh, the law was insufficient to forgive sin but you know he can jesus can his blood can his death on the cross can forgive sin and give salvation so and then when he said uh, i did not come to to abolish the law but i came to accomplish the law um when 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 is something accomplished accomplished what, what what does that mean something is accomplished and something that is accomplished is a, it's like an unfinished business you know what i'm saying i mean it's what it was like um i was doing something i i was doing like a, a project but you know 
let's say I, I took a break from that project and then I came back to that project after 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 like three months or a year a year or so and then I came and I finished that project so wh what happened what happened to, to that project after I, after my comeback and then I and then I finish it and, and I get to the end of the project and then I pres I present up that my project to whatever to whoever to whoever or, or whomever that project was due to and then that person that we see the project will see that the project is is accomplished it's complete it's done so that's what god that that was the that, that was that was what jesus had done with the law he came to accomplish the law and to and to um to finish the law but not to abolish it the law is still in existence but we are not living under the laws we are living under grace so the bible say if you choose to to obey one laws and then you you you, you say I'm, I'm I'm gonna go to church on, on Saturdays, but you know if you choose to do to do one, you have to do all of them. And, and as a matter of fact, there's 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 no man the Bible says there's no man whatsoever that can keep all the laws and that that that, that will not fail. So we are on the grace. It doesn't matter which day that you that, that that you choose to 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 worship God, but you are you are not under the law anymore the laws are still standing because uh, the laws are not going away until after jesus is come back and put an end to to it all and and reshape the world and change the world and bring that 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 and, and bring that the the million you and and bring that 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 that, that eternity life that we are going to be living with him and him as our governor him as him as our our president him as our king of kings uh, uh, the laws will stand always but we are not living under those laws if you if you wanna if you want if you say that you wanna you wanna you wanna be under the law you are in sin i will i i choose grace over over laws i choose grace because i cannot keep those laws i would i would fail because right now i can just walk out of here and, and meet somebody and say sir can you give me a dollar to 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 buy some gas because I, I I'm 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 stuck here. I'm going over the bridge, and I'm just gonna say I'm gonna look at them to see because some most of most of most of them are druggies that want money for drugs. As a matter of fact, that happened to me yesterday. That that a man a man walked to me and asked me for for some money, and I and and I quickly said, man, I don't have money. I can't give you money. And you know what? I had some money in my pocket, but you know I would not give him money to go and buy more drugs because that was that was my my, my taking. What 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 did, what have I done by telling the man that I did not have money? I lied, and many of you you lie sometimes without even 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 knowing it. And the law said that shall not lie, but you know on their grace. You can just say, Jesus, I'm sorry, Lord, but you know, I, I just, uh, I just lied to that man. But you know, I, I did that for that man because, um, I want to do the right thing for that man because I, I, did, I don't want to see that man to, to get more drugs into his system, his body, to mess him more. But you know, if, if that man want, want a sandwich, I'm going to buy him a sandwich as a matter of fact, you know what I'm saying? But you know, I will not give him cash because I know that cash will not going to go toward gas. That cash gonna going to go toward whatever cocaine, whatever he's, he's sniffing, alcohol, whatever he's drinking. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not into that own understanding and he shall direct your path. Until next time, remember the Lord Christ is king of kings. He is give you all the times to repent and he will come back. And don't let it be too late before you say, Lord, I do. I want to have you as my bride. I want to be your bride. I want to be in your kingdom, which you running forever when you come back. Until next time, may God bless you, my folks. Bye-bye. And I love you.